Hello and welcome to the Dragon's Lair. It's not really very lairish. That's not a word, but. And if you like beauty and games, you can like and subscribe. Let's get into this makeup video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my mid-year favorites. I saw this done by a few YouTubers and I figured I would jump on the train. Let's get into my mid-year favorites. Starting off with primers. I got a lot of stuff. Two primers I have been in love with. The first one is this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. I'll sometimes wear this alone under some sunscreen. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. The next thing is this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love this stuff. It grips my makeup to my face and keeps it there all day. Love it. Some of my favorite foundations here. And two of them are a tinted moisturizer. First one, that is my favorite, is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have it in number 23, so right now this is too light for me since I keep doing self-tan. I love it. It's glowy. It goes on. It just... I don't even know how to describe it besides it's perfect cover. The next thing is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I love this too for the same reason. It's nice and glowy. I have it on today mixed with a little bit of this next one, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. This one, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe things very well and make them sound like Oh my God, I gotta go out and buy that because she said that this was... Da, 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 da. It's just beautiful. It's like a light to medium coverage foundation. And like I said, I've been mixing it with that tinted moisturizer. And I don't know, it's just, it's really beautiful. Here lately, I have been doing the powder. Like I'll use all cream products and then I'll powder just a little teeny tiny bit. Because if I don't... I'll look cakey. This is the powder I use. The Laura Mercier Translucent Pressed Setting Powder. This is actually my second one. Bronzers. The first one is more of a contour stick. The Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. And this is in the shade Coco. And then I will just take the brush onto the product and then stamp it in to spots. The second one is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick, and this is called Contour. Once again, I use this as a bronzer, and I actually take this one. This one is a little easier as far as compared to the Fenty one. This is easier as far as blending it out, so I can take a softer brush and kind of pounce this on. That, that's what I have on today. So another Fenty product and this is just a baby one. This is the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Shady Biz. You can still see a little bit of the the stamp that was in there. Beautiful bronzer. It just adds a nice little bronze to your face. I don't know what to say about these. I'm, I'm not good at this because I don't know what to say about these products. Like it looks good. Of course they all look good. That's why they're my flipping mid-year favorites. Blushes. The first one is this Believe Beauty Color Me Cream Blush in Doll Face. This came from Dollar Tree. It's a beautiful blush. I'm wearing it today. It's nice and glowy. Well, that's my highlight, but it's nice and glowy. Next is this Kosas 8th Muse Color and Light Cream. I love this. It's just the simplicity of it, really. You get your blush here and you get your highlight here. I haven't even gone through this thing yet and I love it, but I'm not doing a very good job of talking today. I don't know what my problem is. Highlight, I have a few highlights here. This first one's a cream. Now, what I usually do with this is I do love this by itself, but what I'll normally do is I'll put this on and then put a powder over it. This is the Ciate London Dewy Sticks highlighter in glow and it's just in a stick format and it's pretty clear i usually always wear this under another highlight like a powder highlight and it just amps it up these next two are powders the first can't go without talking about the essence pure nude highlighter in the shade be my highlight 
beautiful highlighter. It's baked formula. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's kind of subtle, it's glowy, and then you can build it up. This next one is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Bloom Time. This is a gorgeous highlight too. This is one of those highlights that you can build it up, but you have to start slowly. It's what I have on today. You have to start soft. If you don't, it's going to be way crazier than this. Oh, I didn't talk about concealer. This one I've talked into the ground. That is the It Bye Bye Under Eye, and I have it in Light Natural. And I still have this little baby one. I've had it for a year. Anyways, awesome concealer. And I'm going to point at you with the next one. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I have mine in Light Sand. This is what I'm wearing today. I love this concealer. It's nice. It's a newer concealer to my collection and I'm really enjoying it and it's inexpensive. So let's get back on track where I'm supposed to be. Let's go in with a couple of palettes. That pee really pop. <coughs> anyway, do I have to be so weird all the time? The first one is the one that I just did a video about. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Palette. I love this. This is your highlight. And then you've got two finishing powders and then two blushes and a bronzer. These come out during the holidays and they are um, limited edition. If you see these little palettes, I would suggest getting one. Totally worth it. The next one is one that I just got and I got it on sale. This is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Blush and Highlighting Palette. And this is in the shade Daria. This palette is also really gorgeous. You've got your creams up here. You've got your, it says glow cream base. It's not real highlighty. And I'll put it down and then put my highlight over it. Like I said, it's not real highlighty. So how many times can I say highlighty? It's not even a word. And then here is the blush in the center, the cream blush, and then your cream highlight. You've got your powders down here. So you've got your powder blush here and your powder highlight. Eye shadows. What is going on? Like, I can't tell if my husband is in the bathroom shaving or if he installed a waterfall. This nude light by Huda Beauty. And everything about this palette, I loved. I love this purple here, this pink. I can do so many looks with this and it's gorgeous. I love it. And I love that purple. Of course, the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow, and this is the one in Rose Water. I love it. These colors and the shadows are really good. Mascaras. The first one is Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara in Brin. I love this mascara. I love it. On a hot day, my eyelashes are not going to transfer. They're not going to flake. And at the end of the day, this stuff comes off so easy. God, I love it. And that's actually my second tube of that. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I love this mascara too. That's what I, this is what I have on today. If I don't have my Thrive Cosmetics mascara on, I have this one. Sometimes other ones. If I feel like, okay, I want to savor this forever, then I try to use other ones, but... I know I gotta use them up. Eyeliners. The first one's the Stila Smudge Cushaw Eyeliner in Nude. And I've had this one for, I swear, for flipping ever. And I still got tons of it left. But I like to use this. I have it in my waterline today. It's just a nice nude eyeliner. I don't know what else to say about it. The other eyeliner I use the heck out of. And that's my Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crown. And this is in Earthquake. This and the mascara came in a little set. Definitely we want, we'll want we want to get a full size of both of those. I'm just all out of order right now. My gosh, I did eyeshadow 20 years ago. Eyeshadow primer. The only eyeshadow primer I use, the only one that I love so far, maybe there's another one out there I need to try, but why when I love this one? This is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and I have it in Soft Ochre. And I love it. I just love this stuff. Still got plenty left. And this just cancels out my veins. It can't, I don't have it on today. Now for my eyebrows. 
Got to go with my Benefit Precisely My Brow, and I use the color three. Now again, I have a small one and a small one of the Gimme Brow. This is my second uh, product, but these two together, I don't know why I'm like, I keep doing this like, now this is what happens with mommy and dad. Good combo. I mean, my eyebrows stay on all day. And then my other brow pencil I do love is from the drugstore and it's the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. And I use the color medium brown. Lips, two lip pencils. These are both from NYX. The first one is the lip liner in Nude Suede Shoes. And these are just cream lip liners. Well, this is cream and this is matte. The matte one is in Whipped Caviar. Now for lips. Okay. First one is this Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. And I have the Shea Butter and Vitamin E one. And as you can see, I'm almost out. I love this stuff. It's I love anything that's pretty much like petroleum based because my lips are so flippin' dry that, I mean, that's the only thing that can save me is something, something thick. This is the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the color Orgasm. I love this. It gives you just this beautiful amount of color. It wears off nice. It's comfortable. The next one is also from NARS, and this is the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tint, and I have it in Primal Instinct. Love this one too. It's so comfortable. If you love tinted lip oils, it, it's a great product. Another one I will be buying another one of when I run out. This next one is one that I just got. <laughs> I just got. Finally. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and I have it in Fenty Glow. Why did it take me five million years to get one of these? It's just so comfortable and it smells good and it's nourishing it's not sticky setting sprays i have two setting sprays i love glowy setting sprays now i do like to set it with a lasting setting spray but i'm actually out of one of my setting sprays and i did it in an empties video it's gone <laughs> but it's the milani make it last i love that stuff and i just haven't gotten another bottle of it yet i also love and can't live without the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Love it. Love this stuff. And then my last thing, now I didn't put any skincare in here. I guess I could do a video like that where I show all my mid-year favorite body butters, body washes. Maybe I'll do that. But since this is makeup, this is all makeup, this is a lot of stuff. I thought I would throw in my favorite brushes that I use constantly. For blush, bronzer, I mean everything in between. I love this Sonia Kashuk brush. It's actually a blush brush. I use it now for bronzer. Foundation. This is a newer foundation brush and this is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And it's just soft enough and small enough I can just brush my foundation around my eyes and stuff and it just gets the foundation on my face nicely. I love that brush. And then this is an e.l.f. highlighting brush and of course this is the one I use for powder highlight. Love this little thing. The last three things are my most grabbed eyeshadow brushes. This one is a little flat eyeshadow brush and I mostly use this well, I only use this for my MAC Paint Pot. This Flower Beauty Dual Ended Brush, I don't use this side very often, sometimes for concealer, but this side is just so, I don't know, it's just so fluffy and I can get my eyeshadow where I want it. And then this is a Morphe brush. I've grown to like some other brushes. I mean, they're not as scratch-tastic as they were when I first got them. This one was never scratchy though, and this one I was most excited about when I got these brushes to begin with. And this is just a little pencil brush. I love it because I can always take shadow and just put it right under my um, lower lid perfectly. I always wanted a pencil brush for that reason, so that is everything. But I hope you like this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.